Hello everybody, today I want to show you some transport designs in Minecraft for high speed uh, transport. One that I have is this piston conveyor belt that I built. Um, it doesn't tend to work very well, especially when I'm recording. It tends to bug out and the player gets stuck in between the pistons. I'm sure you've seen a design like this before. It's essentially a horizontal version of a piston elevator. And when you hit the button, it'll alternate back and forth. Uh, the sticky pistons underneath will raise up the pistons, and they'll push out, and then move the player forward uh, one step at a time. We can try it now, but see go in some ways, but then uh, there's a lag spike, or uh, it just has a hiccup, and it's not even, um, and it it works a little better if you remain really still while you're using it, but not while I'm recording. Uh, so that's one method. Then I came up with another where we use entity propulsion uh, using something like boats. So here I have 200 boats uh, positioned so that they cannot uh, be moved out of the way. It's a little laggy here. Uh, this wasn't really that efficient, um, it doesn't scale well, and you probably don't want to have 200 boats just sitting in your Minecraft world, um, but if we just hit F3B, you can see the hitbox is, uh, trapped in there, but since the entities will push us away, um, when we get near them, see, it can push us back. If we stack these up, uh, the propulsion effect kind of adds up, and so if I just walk into them here, boom, we get sent back 90 to 100 blocks in just a couple seconds, but like I said, this doesn't scale very well. Uh, another thing you could have is where uh, the boats are taken away and put back by dispensers every time you want to use it so that you don't uh, have that many entities actively stored in your world at the same time. Additionally, we could have it so that you get, every time you slow down, you get pushed onto uh, into a new set of boats and you keep moving forward. Uh, so we could use smaller steps, but it's not that efficient. And then of course there's the traditional ice boat method. Um, which I hear can go up to 40 meters a second. Uh, that's 320 if you're going through the nether. Um, sorry, 320 meters per second uh, if you build this in the nether. Uh, so those are just a couple designs I wanted to show you. I'm sorry this one isn't really working out that well. It's just because... Um, mainly because I'm recording and also uh, the piston and player interaction hasn't been handled well in recent updates, but um, maybe that'll be changed soon. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.